Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com, and this is a look at the Bing's Map application in Windows Phone 7. Let's get to it. Okay, before getting started, we have to mention that this is not final Windows Phone 7 hardware or software. We're just showing you how it is now. So let's talk about the Bing Maps application. This is a very similar application to what you get on other platforms from Google Maps and from Bing. So it allows you to search for places nearby, it allows you to navigate, it allows you to see traffic and all that sort of stuff. So let's talk about that now. On the most basic level, it is a Maps application, so it lets you see you know, the roads around you and what's going on and how to get to certain places. We can also turn on an aerial view just like you can do in Google Maps and in Bing Maps on other platforms. So here's an aerial view. We'll go back to the area or we'll go back to the maps view and turn on traffic, although traffic's already turned on. So just like you get in the other maps applications, if you're taking a road trip, you can take a look at the major highways and see green, which means that there is no congestion, and then you get red, which means that there is congestion in certain areas. So let's say you want to search for a certain location within this area that you're looking at on the map. You can also dial down by your location by pressing on the diamond right here, uh, but we're just going to search within the confines of the Harrisburg area here. I'm going to press the hardware button and search for pharmacy, and this uses the tell me voice recognition. Pharmacy. So it's thinking, and it gets it right pretty much 100% of the time, which is quite nice. So now Bing Maps is going to drop different flags or labels, you could call it, showing where the different pharmacies are in this area on the map. Of course, we could have done this for my location, but we're doing it in this area. Now, there's a few things you can do from here. You can tap on any of the results, and you can see the pharmacy name. If you tap on that, you're taken into the information screen, and this would work great for a restaurant because you can actually see reviews within the application of that particular area. And there's probably not going to be a review of a pharmacy, although there seems to be one right there. We can swipe to the right. Here's another cool feature. You can see nearby places to the place you're looking for. So if you're looking for hotels and you want to know, okay, is there a grocery store nearby? Is there, are there restaurants nearby? You can use this screen to determine that. And then if we swipe to the right again in that Metro-like interface, we are back to the beginning, back to about. Now another really cool thing that you can do with the Bing Maps application is pin places to your start screen. Down here there's a little pin icon. If we pin it, we now have a new shortcut on our start screen. So this adds to the list of things that you can pin to your start screen. You can add contacts, links to programs or applications, and also internet favorites. Pretty cool. So let's go back into that particular location that we just saved. Another thing you can do from the screen is send the location via email or text message. So let's go back to the Maps application. Okay, so we just searched for pharmacy. Now another way you can look at this information is through the results view. So we can go to results list and it'll show you a nice comprehensive list of all of the pharmacies in the area without having the map view. Just another way to look at things. So let's say we want to go to this location. We go back to the previous screen and we can navigate to that area. So let's do that. We're going to hit the little navigation button here. And it's going to start in, let's start in Philadelphia. And we're going to end up in East Berlin Pharmacy near Harrisburg. So it's computing the directions. And here we go in a really cool display for navigating. It's not voice guided navigation, but it works quite well. What you do is you tap along and it will show you with this nice animation how you should be going. And the map will actually change and you can zoom in and zoom out from this little map tile up here. Really cool. So we're just moving around on our way to uh, the pharmacy. You can also change from driving directions to walking directions here. And of course, it'll take a lot longer to walk across the state than to drive. Let's go back. See if there's any other options we missed. There are a couple of settings we can determine if it's using your location or not. So that was a look at Bing Maps for Windows Phone 7. Of course, this is not final. I'm sure there will be other features rolled into this application when the platform actually launches. But so far, so good. It works quite well. It's fast. It allows you to pin locations to your start screen, which is pretty cool. So please thumbs up this video if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you want to see more smartphone videos. Thanks for watching. That's it for now.